We have to grow more competitive as a region. And you know, I think that we sometimes delude ourselves into thinking that the Caribbean is unified because we have these superficial po political organizations, economic linkages, CARICOM, UE. Sure, those are great and all in their own right. That's not going to fix the problem that, you know, real realistically, we are segregated as a region. So if you want to fix that, we have to fix that, as like they said, on a foundational level, which is through educational institutions. So exchange programs like these, which allow us to connect cultures, uh, broaden the students' horizons, make them more aware, can kind of bring the Caribbean community closer so we can, you know, rise in the face of globalization, which has been taking its toll on us recently. Not to mention, there's also the fact that um, when it comes to Barbados, it's, it's, it's nice to get some different perspectives, you know? Barbados is really small compared to Jamaica. It's, just, it's about the size of a parish. We, we used to say that it's the size of St. Catherine, which is one of our parishes. So I think that, that, that can also, you know, shape the way we think about the Caribbean and, and I hope that this thing could expire, inspire other schools you know to do something similar and uh, not just with, in Jamaica and Barbados but other countries as well because it's something that needs to happen and you know with Campion and Harrison I think that it could be a yearly thing. It's very exciting to be here we're all so happy to be able to and learn from the Harrisonians no, um, to learn more about Bayesian culture um, you know it really is an opportunity for us to kind of expand our horizons and you know, broaden our global perspective within a Caribbean context as well so I'm just very happy very excited and I'm gonna try as many things as possible and you know feel like a real Bayesian for the week. <laughs>